All right, change expressed as a percent. We've dealt with this percents in section nine uh, to find percent of change and relative error. We're gonna lay out, really have to focus on this relative error. It's not an easy concept. We'll do the best we can, bring questions. Um, okay, we need to know the original amount. So we have percent increase, percent decrease. Here's how we're gonna do it. And I'm gonna write down a specific different rule that I follow. Amount of increase or decrease over the original amount. Here's what they tell you, okay? Really, I'm going to tell you this. Take the big mi number minus the small number, okay? So, now obviously you're going to pay attention to whether it's an increase if the value is getting bigger or a decrease if it's getting smaller. But always take the big minus the small and that'll get you your answer much quicker, okay? So let's move on. All right, so a sale on a coat. Um, the original price is 82. Here's the sale price. What is the discount expressed as a change? So we're going to do the big minus the small over the original. Okay, the big number is 82 minus 7450 over the original, which is 82. So as we go through this, we do the subtraction, we get 7.5 over 82. We do the division, we find out that it's something close to 0.09 or about 9%. Okay, we do the division to help us figure that one out. All right, so notice I took the, the big number, which was 82, that's the original, minus the small number, which is the sale price, and this is a percent of decrease because the original and the new got smaller, right? Uh, same thing here. We've got the the June is 4.1, the December is 2.8, and we are comparing the two together, okay? So we're taking the big minus the small, over the original from June to December. So June would be the original, so 4.1, okay? So as we go through, we figure this out and we would find out that this is uh, 1.3 over 4.1, which turns out to be about 32%. Okay, about 32% for that one. Okay, percent of increase. Now, they buy an electric guitar for this much, and that's the new price. So we're taking big minus small over the original. Okay, so this is the starting price. They mark it up. They charge us more than we, we would if we were buying it from the original people. Okay, so we get 45 over 295 and then we change it into a decimal and then into a percent. I'm waiting. No, 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 don't just sit there. Figure this out. All right, good. All right. So what we get is about 0.1 1.5 or 15 percent. Okay. I'm going to let you work on that one on your own. Pause it. Okay, okay. now we're going to get into the complicated thing. It's called relative error. Okay. Um, if we make a guess about something, but we don't know what it actually is, and then we find out what it actually is a little bit later, we can figure out how close in terms of a percent we were from that original. Okay. They do this sort of thing in things like architecture and um, just building things. They, they make a prediction as to what it's going to be, science, that sort of thing, and they figure out the percent error as they go. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the measured or the estimated value minus the actual value over the actual value, okay? 
All right, so a decorator estimates that a rectangle, reg, rectangular rug is five feet by eight feet. The rug is actually eight feet by four, four feet by eight feet. What is the percent error in the estimated area? Okay, so we're doing the estimated area. All right, so we want the measured or estimated. So we think it's 40 feet squared. It actually is 32 feet squared. So we're going to subtract those two things, and we're going to take it over the actual value, which is 32 feet squared. All right, so I get 8 feet squared over 32 feet squared, which is equal to 0 0.25, which is 25%. So there is a 25% error in our prediction of what it was we thought was going to happen. Okay. 25% error. Okay, so, so far, now notice that we're not talking about negatives because we have these absolute value symbols. So the measured or estimated minus the actual over the actual. Okay, minimum and maximum dimensions. Right. So this is using that same concept, but uh, you're framing a poster and measure the length of the poster as 18.5 inches to the nearest half inch. Okay? Most likely you're not going to go too big or too small. There's a, I really recommend when you get into class that you look at the box uh, on page 147 that says think. Okay? Uh, and that maybe will make this part a little bit more making sense. Maybe you can even look at the internet. Um, on the on the textbook online what are the minimum and maximum possible lengths okay so you measured to the nearest 0 0.5 so what that means is the greatest possible error could be a quarter of an inch in either direction okay a quarter of an inch All right so if we measured it at 18 and a half inches the smallest value would be 18.25 you see that? 18.5 minus the error. The largest value would be 18.5 plus the error that we thought of. Okay. So therefore, the minimum possible length of our guess would be 18.25, and the largest would be 18.75. Okay. So you see how we're do what we're doing is we're figuring out what is the greatest possible error, and then we're both subtracting it from what we found to, and we're adding it to what we found. Okay. Finding the greatest possible percent error. Okay, so we have this box, and the dimensions to the nearest inch. Okay, so that tells us a lot. If it's the nearest inch, then that means that we can have the greatest possible error of 0 0.5 inches. Okay, 0 0.5. So what we need to do is we need to assume what happens if we've got 0 0.5 less than each one of these, 0 0.5 more, and if it were originally the way that it is. Okay. All right, so here's the measure. 12 by 6 by 5, that's 360. If we subtract each one by 0 0.5, this would be our minimum volume. And if we added each one of those numbers right here by, by 0 0.5, we would get our maximum. Okay. Right. So we're taking our minimum minus the measured, what we found, and we get 75.375. The maximum minus the measured, and we get 86.875. We're going to take the greatest difference in the volume divided by the measured volume. So the greatest one is the 86.875 over 360 gives us about 24%. So the greatest possible percent error in volume based on the measurements to the nearest inch is about 24%. Okay, I suggest you spend a little bit of time when you get into class looking over this question. Um, but we're still working through that concept of the what we think it could be minus what it is over what it is okay all right last slide
check out the problems. I'm going to sneak it right under 10 minutes. See ya.